Hey, has this ever happened to you? You're playing your favorite game, but something feels wrong. You always have a bad time, and the games feel so long. You think, what happened to this game I used to enjoy? Has the game changed that much? Or perhaps it is Moy. Hey guys, Dr. Science here, and if any of this sounds relatable to you, you are massively depressed. But that's okay because I have the solution. Optimizing your CPU. Yes, it's true. By obtaining zero input delay by following my amazing guide video, you too can stop being depressed and be happy once more. Now you may be asking, Signs, how do the macroeconomic implications of quantum tightening affect the GDP ratios of export-driven economies operating under a dual-mandate monetary regime? But you also may be asking yourself something more related to the topic of this video, like how do I optimize my CPU? And to that, my friend, I would tell you... Once you've prepared yourself mentally for the performance boost that's about to come, you then need to go ahead and prepare yourself physically, because you might come. Now once you're fully prepared, head over to my Discord, the link will be in the description, go to the YouTube Tweaks channel, and download the CPU optimization zip. The file will be down here at the bottom, I haven't put it in here yet, but just go ahead and click download, it'll say sign CPU optimization, so go ahead and download that one, put that file on your desktop after you've extracted it, and then go ahead and open it up and we'll get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and check your enabled CPU cores. A lot of YouTubers don't know what they're talking about, and what they'll do is they'll you to come in here to boot click advanced options and then check this number of processes and then set a custom value in here so it's actually really bad and literally all that's doing is manually limiting how many cores are used and it's actually causing significantly worse fps longer boot times and more input delay so what you're going to want to do is just uncheck this it doesn't matter what the number set to because once it's unchecked windows automatically uses all cores by default so you're good so just set it to whatever you want but make sure that that is unchecked so number of processors unchecked no matter what and then click ok and then click apply so that applies and then click ok if you you did have that checked i'd recommend rebooting your computer before continuing otherwise now that we're taking full advantage of our entire cpu we can continue to go ahead and go back the next thing we're going to want to do is unpark all our cpu cores basically what cpu parking is is it's putting your cores to sleep while the computer doesn't think they're in use and then when you go to game or something those park cores have to take time to wake up which is causing lag and stutters and also more input delay so to fully optimize our cpu we're going to unpark it so just open up the unpark cpu app here and then all we're going to want to do is click unpark all and it'll say change to successfully applied click ok and then click apply and that way it's unparked and then you should see here it says parked core zero and that's what we want there so once we verified our cpu cores are fully unparked we're good to go for some of you in here it may already be unparked and that's fine on Windows 11 23H2 and higher, Windows is now unparking cores by default. So if this is already done for you, that's fine. But just to be safe, go ahead and click unpark all and then apply. And then we can exit out of this, go ahead and go back, and then we're gonna disable HPET. So this is more of like a general optimization, but it just can cause so many issues, especially on AMD CPUs, it can cause even more issues. So what we're gonna wanna do is find high precision event timer under system devices and device manager, expand this, and then right there it says high precision event timer. I'm actually gonna enable it just to show you guys, but this one, just right click it and then click disable and then click yes. So that should look Look like that that little gray icon there means it's disabled so then we're good to go hpet is legacy it's not really used anymore and disabling this is going to stop windows from calling on it so we're basically just removing a slow timer that's hurting our input which in turn is going to let windows talk to the cpu faster so once you're done with this you can close out a device manager go ahead and go back and then go to the registry tweaks for cpu i have this power run folder here what we're going to have to do is double click on this click file and then allow command line if this isn't working for you for some reason you may need to disable your antivirus like windows defender smart screen things like that but once you click file and then allow command line Line, you can close out of power run and then drag the timer fix over power run let that run and close and then drag cpu tweaks over power run and then click yes and then click ok this is all open source and you can right click and edit them to see exactly what they're doing and i'll do that in the video here for you guys too but this is all it's doing this is all cpu related it's going to make your computer feel way faster way better and it's going to set the correct priorities for your cpu so once you're done running those you can exit out of everything go back to the cpu optimization folder go to import power plan so a lot of people don't know but there's tons of hidden settings within a power plan i have another video showing you guys all the hidden settings and how to make the best power plan but for this video i'm just going to go ahead and show you how to import that power plan power plan is a huge way to reduce cpu cycles and this power plan will literally cut your cpu cycles in half so this power plan alone is like a legendary way to have your pc moving so once you're ready to import it you can just double click on it and it should automatically import if you're having issues with it importing open up power run and do the same thing click file and then allow command line and then drag and drop import signs power over power run but if it imported for you fine you're good just type in edit power plan and make sure your selected power plan is signs power plan everything's already configured on this one so now you're good to go i will say if you're on like a laptop you might not want to use this particular power plan because all throttling and things like that is turned off so your temperatures are going to go up a little bit otherwise if you guys are on a desktop pc 
PC and you have a somewhat decent cooler, then you'll be fine. So go ahead and exit out of this, go back one and then go to disable startup apps. Again, the main goal on this one is just disable our CPU cycles. So it has less things to do. So open up task manager, go to startup apps, then just disable everything in here. Obviously, if you have something in here you need for an optimization, like timer resolution or disable driver power saving, you can leave that on. But mainly any apps in here, like the Riot client, we want to disable. We just don't want a bunch of things starting up and weighing down our CPU. So once you've turned off everything in here, go ahead and go back, go back again. Also, be sure to restart your computer for the changes to apply, and then you guys will be good to go. And then the last thing I wanted to mention is the CPU BIOS optimizations. I have a link to my website here if you guys want to get optimized by me, where I do all the BIOS settings for you. Realistically, there's like 50 settings you can change in your BIOS to optimize your CPU and performance. It's going to make your FPS skyrocket and lower your input delay like crazy. But in general, what you want to do is boot to your BIOS and just disable power saving things for your CPU, like C states, speed step for Intel, cool and quiet for AMD, any kind of power limits, anything like that, spread spectrum on hyper threading Intel, you want to disable that for your CPU. SMT on AMD for newer CPUs, you can keep that on. And then of course you want to enable XMP, DOCP or Expo. That way you're getting full utilization out of your RAM, which of course in turn will make your CPU and RAM talk to each other faster. Those are like the more basic settings you can do for your CPU. But if you guys want me to take care of everything for you, all the hidden settings in your BIOS and everything like that, book an optimization on my website, signs.net, and I'll take care of everything for you. And that way you have full peace of mind knowing you literally have the best optimizations on the planet. If you guys like the video, be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here for more videos like this, and also comment on what you want to see next. But other than that though, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of video you guys want to see next, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.